The passengers of train K396 bound for Beijing found themselves in a precautious situation Sunday afternoon as relentless torrential rain obstructed their journey, leading to landslides and damaged tracks. There was a part of the railway track with nothing beneath it. My child was carried out by police officers. I was scared to walk so close to the edge of the canyon. The officers formed a human wall, putting their lives on the line. We carried and supported the children and elderly, helping them pass through one by one. When we approached the tunnel, it was dark inside, without no water. They carried my child and waded through it. One of the soldiers was the same age as my eldest boy at home. The heavy water logging also damaged roads in many sections of Montogo and flash flooding forced the closure of more than 100 mountainous roads. Among the stranded passengers, an Albanian traveler with Chinese fiancé compared the situation to the Titanic. You know, when they say first women, and and so it was a little bit scary. In the, but then, slowly, slowly, we get in that uh, we we clarify with the situation and with the, also the military, the the train service, everyone helped. Due to failed telecommunications in the region, a German couple only managed to report their safety two days after the incident. We just didn't know what was happening and we went up to a village that was higher so it was safe there and now we walked here and it was it was through tunnels and a bit adventurous but it was it was okay. Yeah. It was a different uh, adventure anyway. Definitely. Yeah yesterday suddenly they came with like helicopters and then the military came and this morning they told us that we're going to walk. So for us it was a relief because we really want to go to Beijing. Uh, and we didn't want to wait longer. And everyone was glad that we could leave. By Wednesday, the combined efforts resulted in the safe evacuation of almost a thousand passengers and crew. Many express gratitude to the locals in Lo Pinlin who helped provide food and wear in the past two days. So they also worry about the insufficient supplies left. Now the sun is out and the air delivery continues. That could be a quite a relief for those people in the region, particularly for those elderly. Zhou Jiaqing, CGTN in Mendogo, Beijing.